what's up? It's Dynasty Beats from Finally Focus Music Group. I'm chopping up with Bigger. <laughs> I've been producing for seven years, but I've been playing drums since I was about six years old. Okay. And uh, what would you say your style is? My style, I'm very versatile. Like I can go from pop to trap music to r and I've literally made every single kind, so I don't really put myself in one style because when you do that, you don't usually broaden your horizons. Yeah. I could do little. I've had German artists come to me for dance and um, electro songs. I've had R&B artists come to me for R&B tracks. I've had a couple pop artists come to me for some pop beats and um, I'm always making trap beats because that's the most popular right now. Yeah. But I can make New York beats, so I sample, whatever, you know, so I'm very versatile. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think about people that just, uh, you know, basically saying that you're not making real beats if you sample them? See, I used to think the same thing when I didn't sample. When people always say like, oh, you're not making real music with sampling. If you just take a sample and you loop it and then you throw drums over, okay, no. You didn't do nothing to change it. You didn't do any EQing. You didn't slow the sample down or speed it up or even change the pitch. That to me is not sampling. That's literally just copy. But when you take a sample and you take two, three samples from a song, from two different songs, and mash them up together, and they sound like they're one new song, that's when, like Kanye, for instance, Kanye will take a whole symphony, write a symphony over his samples that he used, and that right there, that that's like real making music, and that that's what I would do. Like I don't just take a sample and just leave the sample like some people do. I I put bass lines, pianos, stuff behind it so that it doesn't sound like it's really sampled. But it does have a sample in it. Okay. And what uh, what program do you use? Uh, I use Fruity Loops, FL Studio, and Pro Tools. What do you What do you think about the people that uh, they're hating on Fruity Loops? The haters, man, the haters for FL Studio. Like, y'all can hate all you want, cause this program is doing making us wonders. It's very easy to use. I mean, for the people that think it's cheap and cheesy, no, you just don't know how to use it right. Because, honestly, once you figure it out, you can get multi-million dollar sounding beats out of it. And it's just because of what you use. Okay. Right. So, uh, the importance of the producer. What do you think the importance of the producer is when it comes to an artist? Because uh, Manny Fresh made a comment about how we're in this microwave age of mm -hmm. beat making where you can just get the music just like that. Yep. So what do you think like today's producers, what do you think is that, what, what do you think that they bring to the table? Honestly, like there's too many yes men in the game right now for producers. These producers will take anybody and let them on their beat. And I, I used to be that same way, like I won't lie. I used to just throw the beats to anybody. Whether you're a good rapper, bad rapper, good singer, bad singer. But nowadays, people just really, like, they'll cook up a beat. It won't be really perfected. They, they'll they just throw it out there and give it to whoever. They won't have no direction. Like, okay, I want you to go and do this. They, like, if you were to get Manny Fresh or Timbaland or somebody in the studio with Justin Timberlake, Alicia Keys, anybody, they would tell them, look, here's this beat. Let's go in this direction. Now they write. If it's not in that direction, look, okay, no, nah, let's change that up. Producers don't do that. Produ producers just listen to a beat, go ahead, do what you want. And then if it's whack, oh, well, whatever. It, it, there's no direction. It's all just everybody do doing what they want to do. And because there's no direction, nobody's really putting out real, real music. Like Manny was saying, it's like a microwave age, like instant. You're making beats like that and getting them out there like that, but it's not really helping your music because it's not good music. So what you, what's your thoughts on the music today? The music today, I I mean, there's certain artists I really like, but then there's other ones where it's like, where did you come from and why do you even, are, why are you doing music? Are you doing it just because you know you can make money off of it or are you doing it because you love the craft? You want to put your heart and soul into it like musicians do. I think today with music, 
too many people are doing it for the money, for the fame, for the fortune. People aren't doing it because they love sitting in a studio. They're not doing it because they dreamt of being able to be in a studio or be able to just have their music heard. They want the money, the fame, the girls, the cars. Today's music is just fake to me. So you don't think there's going to be any kind of classics? I think I think with certain artists, like you got your artists that are really still doing things like Ken Kendrick Lamar, like that dude just came out of the woodworks and people are just like wild by him because he's a real lyricist. You got Drake. I mean, Drake, I like him, but you got his two radio side. He went from being kind of his own lane to too much radio. But I think there's probably about a good 10, 15 artists out there that will have classics. They may not be rappers, but there's definitely artists out there that will have classics. Okay. So uh, you at Finally Focus Music Group, which is uh, headed up by Taj Mahal. How you come to working with Taj? Me and Taj, it was about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I had hit him up. I was in Kentucky for vacation for my birthday with my sister, and I seen him post online, like, about to be in the studio with Rick Ross, Sun Beats, blah, blah, blah. So I messaged him. I was like, yo, I'm not trying to get beats to Rick Ross, to be honest. I was like, I'm just trying to work with you. And instantly he was like, all right, well, when I come back up, we're going to have to link up. We got He got back to Syracuse. I got back to Syracuse, and we linked up. I went down to Subcat, and he was like, all right, play me some beats. So I just plugged in my flash drive and played him a bunch of beats. And from there on, he was like feeling every beat. Like, literally, I, I was playing all my beats, and he just, every beat, he didn't give me any, like, nah, I don't like that. Go to the next one. It was always like, so... When I knew that he was hearing my full potential, he started saying like, oh, you engineer. He didn't know I engineered at first. He took me out to sales, placed out in Central Square, and I engineered for him and mixed something for him. And uh, he ended up saying, welcome to the team, basically. Just yeah. introduced me to everybody, and then uh, we started up the studio out in uh, East Syracuse, and it's been popping ever since. How's the, how's the atmosphere? I love working with Taj. Taj is one of the greatest artists, like, He's positive all the time. You don't ever have to worry about negativity or, or discouragement from that guy because he is 100% positive. And if you're not positive, he tells you to stay from around him. <laughs> um, it, it's just the working atmosphere is great because literally we get tons of music done. And with Taj, some artists, like, they'll take days to write a great song. Taj will sit down for 20 minutes and write a great song. I mean, great. Like, you're sitting there like, where did he come up with this? Was this already written? No, it literally coming off the top, right there, writing it, done, going to the booth. And that's how we do our music here. We just literally, we'll, we'll sit down, create the beat. While I'm creating the beat, he'll be thinking, writing. As soon as my beat's probably halfway done, throw it in there, I'm gonna record it real quick, and then we'll finish up the beat. And that's oh, what so always happens. Okay. So yeah, basically, yeah, is taking it back to your working process is like the Super producers back yes. in the day. It's it like really is. Quincy like Jones sitting in a yeah. sit down with an artist. So they tailor, the beats are tailor made. Very, yeah. Like, I'm the custom beat maker here. Like, me and Unique will sit down and uh, we'll just go through beats and then Taj will pick from those sometimes. But then other times we'll literally, me and Taj will sit down and, all right, I got this melody in my head. Then play it out. Okay. Um, like this one song we got coming out, going to be on iTunes, Love Them All the Same, produced by me. That was fully tailor-made, just right to the T, like exactly everything you want from the drums to the piano to the violins in it. Then you got the song Bad Bitches, which is on allhiphop.com, thisis50.com, um, tons of other sites. I produced for him. We were sitting in my old house, and I was just sitting there playing with some bells. And he's like, all right, put that in there. And we just started building the beat. And he's walking around the house just, bad bitches, bad bitches. Keep going. Built the hook from there. And um, it was just, everything we do is just building blocks. We start from one, and it, we build a building. Okay. So talk to me about your uh, your beat making process. You know, I know, like, people got some little eye, little twerks, how they do stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, just take me through the process. You wake up. Do you feel it? Do you have to come in and, and be in the studio? Uh, you don't understand? You know, it's funny because, like, it's honestly, my brain is so random. 
that I could be in the car driving to the studio, from the studio. I'm like, turn around. I need to go back to the studio real quick, put this piano piece down. Or I'll try to remember, I'll record it in my phone real quick because I'm, I'm running off somewhere. Is there? But honestly, when I'm in the studio, my, my beat making process, I'm very random. I'll sit there and I'll go through sounds upon sounds, just going through them, just playing around, just playing on the keys, until I feel like, okay, that's what I want to make right now. And then from there, I'll add the drums, or sometimes I'll just play around with drums. It doesn't really matter exactly like what I start with. It's just always random. You can never tell exactly what style I'm making because I could be, it could sound sad when it starts. And by the end of the beat, you hear it, and it's a whole different, it's inspirational or it's, it's, just a big, large instrumental that you can't even like imagine it coming from what I just started with. I'm, I'd consider my like process just a grab and go type thing where you're, you're I'm sitting here and I just have all these ideas just pop up. All right, let me grab that one. All right, throw this one in it. Throw this one in it. And it, it just keeps building and building to the point where I'll sit there and be like, okay, let me go walk around for a little bit. Listen to the beat, let the beat go. All right, this this is what's missing. Let me go add this. Let me add this breakdown. And um, it just all comes with just flow. I'm always just pacing. Honestly, that's that's the key to my making my beats. Get up, don't stay still. You gotta stay motivated. You gotta stay pacing back and forth, moving something. Cause if you're just gonna sit there and be bland, you're gonna lose your motivation. I'm gonna lose my inspiration. So you already know it's Dynasty Beats. Closing out the interview with Bigger. Um, y'all can find me. Uh, Facebook, Dynasty Beats, uh, Dynasty No Free Beats, Beats, that's what my name is on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Dynasty underscore Beats, and you can also find me on Instagram, Dynasty Beats, um, also look out for the website, Music Grind 24-7, coming out soon, we're going to be featuring a lot of artists from around the world, lo um, local artists and unsigned artists from all over, uh, all with music produced by me, so get on that. This track right here is uh, Mr. T. I produced it by L. Does, and uh, this is a sample of the hook and the beat. Mr. T, Mr. T, Mr. T, Mr. T, Mr. T. 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 Mr.